See that? Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. What's your reading? In those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die and death will flee from them. The shape of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold and their faces were like the faces of men. They had hair like women's hair and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. It's describing things that are like warplanes. They are tails like scorpions. And there were stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men five months. And they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon. But in Greek, he has the name Apollyon. One woe is past, one of the three woes, one of the three last woes. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Then the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. This is horrendous. Hi. Let's read. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. 33% of the population be killed with this one. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them. And I remember showing you about this. Remember, these angels, this, this uh, uh, fallen angels were bound in the river Euphrates. Okay. Next verse. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions. And out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone, which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails are like serpents, having heads, and with them they do harm. But the rest of mankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons. See, Satanism was at its peak. All right? And they should not that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see, nor hear, nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders, or their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. I saw still another mighty angel coming down from the heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head. His face was like the sun and his feet like pillars of fire. He had a little book in his hand and he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars. When he cried out, seven thunders uttered their voices. So remember, seven seers, Seven trumpets, seven thunders.